In this tutorial we will implement a lucky wheel. If you want more videos like this, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And if you want to access the code or the assets of the tutorial or looking for help, you can check our Patreon in the description. Let's continue the tutorial. Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will do a lucky wheel. So just um, let's uh, get right into it and let me show you how you can make this uh, thing from its pieces because a strong uh, side of this uh, device is that it is highly customizable right uh, all these pieces are things that you can build upon right um, so how you so first we have on our device we have wheel pieces and each wheel piece is basically this these triangles right um, so for each piece you need to um, set the left end and right end of the piece so if you come to it you will see that on the left end we have a this is a really small uh, if you look at it this is a really small sphere so and that's a that needs to be a creative uh, prop uh, and also we have one on the right end and we have them uh, for all these triangles right um we we need to have them because when we are spinning the wheel we need to know uh we are using the those locations to know uh like which uh, triangle is a winner triangle then uh you need to uh, you can you need to set the item grantor for that piece and then need to set the item index on that item grantor so we didn't do a separate item grantor for all of them so you can basically just use one item grantor and then index the item in that item grantor that you want to give right um so in this tutorial we have um as i said it's highly customizable uh, but of course, as always, we are going to be show you only the code of it. And um, if you want to access the assets, um, you need to check our Patreon link in the description. Uh, so you will be able to access all of these from our Patreon. So basically, um, how you set it up is like this. So uh, we have a empty creative prop so that you can set the static mesh of it right so you set the so this is basically yeah this can be this doesn't have to be a prop um this can just sit right here and but that but this wheel needs to be a prop because we're going to rotate it so it needs to be a prop to be controlled by verse so this is just an empty creative prop right empty building prop sorry uh, it's empty so its mesh is not even set so you just make sure you set this wheel to the same location as this and they will uh, as a space wheel base so they will just align uh, nicely and then uh, so the, the the reason that we have like uh, different pieces of triangles that so that you can so I need to make this triangle a prop so I'm going to put another empty prop and then set its static mesh to the triangle right but I want to uh, triangle to rotate with the wheel so I need to make the triangle a child to the wheel, right? Because if I make it a child, it will follow the parent's transform. So when I rotate it, the triangle will rotate as well. If I don't do that, if I don't make it a child, it won't, uh, it won't rotate with the parents. Okay. So that's an important part. And then you can just make sure you set the location to all zero and the deal here is that so we have five different um, triangle pieces and when you set all of them 
with just location zero zero, they will like align um, just with location zero zero. So they will align to form a triangle, uh, sorry, to form a wheel. Uh, but the powerful side of it is that you can create your own unique combinations of uh, different um, triangle pieces to form the same wheel. So I can just copy this and then basically just rotate it, right? And I guess, yeah, just basically rotate it like this so that it's a, you know, it's a different layout and I can actually even do something like this. So I can then like get this piece. Uh, sorry, so I can't, I need to put another prop, right? Empty prop. Um, I can get that and then set it. Make sure it's set to zero, zero, right? And I can just rotate it a bit. So I need to adjust the angle. 70 is 65, 67.5. So it's something around there. Is a bit more work, but so that's how you can align your triangles to create your own unique combination, basically. Um, and of course, you know, the, if you use the five separate pieces, then it's going to be uh, this uh, default version of the wheel. And the the textures here, which will we will give you as well so a couple of weapon textures is just if you if i move this you'll see it's it's actually just a rectangle right it's just a basic plane that you can get from this uh, you can get from here so basically we just uh, put the weapon material on this right and then then take this and make this a child um, of course i need to make this mobile then make this a child to the triangle right and then make sure it's aligns nicely so also scale it All right, and then move it to the front. I guess six is enough now. Seven. It needs to be a bit more. Okay, 23, okay. And for the colors of the triangles, you can... Uh, so let me... Uh, if you use our Patreon, you will get this material, but let me just show you. It's just a really basic material. It just has a texture on the emissive. It's a masked material mask surface material and the alpha channel is uh, connected to, to the mask so the white spaces are just you know uh, seen as empty and when it comes to triangles you know you can just set it to set its color to any some anything that you want so you can set it to blue i just have some uh, like color materials um prepared before but these are just basically nothing fancy, <laughs> just one color, right? So, but yeah, you can, the idea here is that you can actually put any material on these triangles that you want. And then uh, upon the triangles, you can just um, put a plane and on that plane, you can put a texture to display what the, what kind of reward that you're going to give. And this is the, you know, this is the, setup version of the entire thing and then on the on the device you set the you know um wheel pieces uh left and right ends of the wheel pieces which are these small spheres right these are all creative props again so these are important uh to set correctly so if you don't um set these locations of these spheres correctly uh, a device won't be able to detect the winner correctly so that's probably one of the most important parts that you shouldn't miss. 
So if you look at that, all of them has, so for this piece, we have the left end here, then we have the right end here, and all of them has two ends like that. And you set them all in the wheel piece, right? And we also have the dent prop. Uh, so this is also again just a little sphere so uh, you could possibly set it under this dent as well uh, on this, this rod but uh, um, like um, distance uh, distance wise it wouldn't work properly so make sure that uh, this dent prop uh, has the same uh what do you say i mean right now it's aligned on the x-axis right so make sure that it has the same x or the y-axis um you know what whatever the um locking a uh, locked axis uh, on this way is so make sure it's on the same coordinate so that it's um it works you know uh, well uh it works properly um so yeah i made it uh, a child to the this base mesh but i could have actually made it made the dent prop a child to the wheel as well it doesn't ma matter that much at, uh, really i mean it could be not a child as well um it just doesn't matter that much so then you can set the spin duration minimum maximum and it will if each spin it will get a you know random duration spin duration between these two and then of course you can set the um, spin angle and then we have the spin button which is a conditional button um, and in this one I just set it to the center um, center of the wheel um, uh, so yeah I sh made it so that it requires just one gold and basically the, the device will disable it upon usage disable the button and it will enable it again once the wheel stops uh, spinning and if you come to the code it's um just you know the wheel piece data just you can see the props the grantor and the grantor index and then we have them as an array then we have the wheel prop to rotate it and we have the wheel dent prop we will use that use its location to detect the winner we have the rotation durations um, spin durations then we have the spin speed then the spin button right uh, at initial uh, at initialization we just listen to the activated event of the button and then uh, when that button is pressed we disable it and then we spawn the async async function asynchronous function to spin the wheel uh, which we use using which we do using the animation controller of the wheel prop uh, so we generate a random spin duration uh, so we do so we do three passes so we do a ease uh, ease in interpolation movement at the first uh, at the start uh, so this uh, allows us allows us uh, allows the wheel to show as sped up uh, at the start and then we just go linear so just constant speed and then we do an ease out so it's basically um uh, slows down at the end um and then we look for the winner by just looking at the dent location and we look through all these end location props of all these wheel pieces and we say uh, like uh, which one is the closest one and when we find the uh when we find the closest one we say that's the winner right and then we grant the um, item uh, of the winner to the um, to the agent to the spinner agent and that's the entire code uh, uh, so let me only thing is left to, is to show the show to show how it works so basically you get a gold you have an item spawner here so you get the gold you do a lucky spin it spins a bit right now <laughs> i don't know why but okay so i guess a <laughs> a large uh, spin duration 
came out of it. So let's spin one more time. All right, that's nice. That's nice. And assault rifle. Um, so as you can see, um, this is a highly customizable device um, that you can create your own different um, uh, triangle combinations of. So you don't just need to use this one version of it, right? And by um, like connecting to the uh, on granted event uh, of the item grantor, you can like uh, play sounds or stuff like that. Uh, so and that was all. To access the code or the assets of this video, you can check our Patreon. Thanks, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and share if you've enjoyed. And also leave a comment on what tutorial you would want to see next. See you later.